Hey yo, after the VR dancing sessions and the VR Dance Academy showcase, I decided it would be worth it to sign up for a VRDA membership. The VRDA offers a wide variety of different classes ranging from ballroom to hip hop to stretching and everything in between, making it a great place to start your dance journey. Make sure to check out this video first to get to know who was involved and how the whole academy works. Since I've never been to a dance class myself, I chose to start with the yoga class as a fun way to ease into the experience. I have no clue. This world is so big. How do I... Uh, where... Where do I go? Hey, Rush. Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, I don't have no clue how I to teleport. I met you at the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Did I meet you at the, uh... Yeah, yeah, the FIA. Here, I can, I can show you... Yeah, I think you double press the, like, A or the, like, X button. It's, and then teleport. Yeah, and beat. then fast travel to beach. beach. I was a bit lost being my first time here, so I ended up missing the intro section, but I made it in time to catch the first set. Put your controllers on your wrists or on the ground, because we're going to use our flat hand. We're, we're going to start here. Arms going up, going down, hugging our, our legs, and you're going to put your hands on top of your shins for a nice straight back here. We're going to go down into the plank. From the plank, we're going to go into the cobra pose. Hands on the top of your shin, nice flat back, and then roll it up. And we reach up and we do it again. So that's going to be the whole routine. So here we go. Breathing in, arms up. And down, hug your legs. Hands down on the ground, go into a plank position. Just dropping your knees and your hips to the ground. For pushing your chest towards the sky. Um, for bloody rush. They said I got no it. amount of yoga is going to help you. Because you're a skeleton. Aww. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Stretch the bones. You know, Droid Master is usually our local skeleton. Yeah, usually Droid Master is <laughs> a skeleton. Yeah, I could change into it right now. Okay. There right. we go. go oh, the you're the Sea of Thieves one. Okay. Alright, let's go into the hut. That's it for yoga. Now we're going to do hut. the meditation. The so. Job of the hut. Do the hut. Why, why am I glowing? But everyone's glowing. To the hut. Go ahead and get in a comfortable laying down or seated position of your choosing. Headbutt. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe That's out. Relax, fine. breathe. So at this time, could I have everyone mute your microphones? Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In and out. Oh. How do we feel? Sleepy. So I will see you all later. Thank you for coming to class. Sorry, I have to yeah, thank first you. off. Usually I don't do that, but we'll see you. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, the sun. Thanks for coming, everyone. Ah, yeah, it's so bright oh, when you no. first go out. Oh. <laughs> it takes a oh, wow. The bloody rash is going for it. You have no skin to get sunburned, I guess. What do you go by? Uh, I just go by Rush. What about bloody? Blutty? Yeah. Bloody hell. I, I take, uh, honestly, I, I take both. As long as you don't call me Da, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Who would? Da. Oh, I've, hey, Da. How's it going? Would, da, how's you it going? You would be surprised. You would be surprised. Into the ocean you go. You cannot go to the ocean, sadly. Damn it. I think you can go to the boat. But you can get into the boat, but you can't get into the ocean. Oh. 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 What the uh, hell? Wait, you have a flashlight? Hold up. Come on. Is this it? Yep. That is it. Cool. I don't think I have anything with a light. Let me look around. I'm not Honestly, have good, because they're not performant at all, and I feel guilty even having them. Oh, yeah, it's very poor. Like, inspect the avatar, like, properties of this. That is a lot of polys. Oh my I god. Mean, thousand bones. Like 20 outfits. Should I think about it? How I much used to bring my avatar, my have... computer to its knees, but not so much. How many... We're, we're wearing oh, yeah. quality oh. abbeys. I was like sitting, I was like looking at my, Ooh. at this, uh, abbey, I was like, Oh, okay. Three? Zero polygons, one material slot, uh, zero skinned meshes. I'm like, 
Oh, why is it a uh, mesh particle polygons? Eighty-seven thousand. Oh god! Oh my <laughs> god. god! Lots of rats. Run, yeah. Uh, not only do they run, oh, they no. like they bounce off the walls. Can we go somewhere where I can actually see this? Because like I can't. Oh yeah, no. The beach is perfect for rats. Oh, okay. Lots of rats. <laughs> I... Oh no! Oh my god! They swarm the beaches. Boy. You're not gonna get them all. You are not going to get them all. With yoga finished, I was ready for my next class. Dusty specialty is belly dancing, so I thought that'd be a good introduction class for me. Hello. Hey. Should we come in or? Of course, yeah. Okay. Farron's just being a weirdo. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> There's no surprises when the thing says Farron has joined oh. your instance. <laughs> I actually made it in time for the warm-up stretches, where I was able to stretch my bones and get ready for the crazy motions that we'll be put through. This is a good time to point out how well-made the worlds are. 8Spark did an amazing job with all the available customization, like how we're able to belly dance in an aesthetically pleasing desert setting. Last class we were working on the undulation. For undulation, what happens is you're rocking forward and back, and the footwork goes heel, toe, toe, heel. Keep your ankles strong but you know loose you can move your foot and then you can add your hips so what our hips are doing you're slowly rocking your hips forward and back as you rock forward on your right leg and back on your left leg when you're on the forward foot your abs are completely extended and then when you go back it's like it's squishing squish 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 <laughs> arms usually are up in this position one two three and four. Now we're gonna turn. One, two, three, and switch. Yep, and go the other way. So when do you usually like switch your legs in the in the turn? You're going here all the way to the back wall. You finish your final little undulation here, and then instead of going back, you go forward with the other foot. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Forward, forward, back. Once you've gotten that down, your hands will go like your ninja, like wah, wah, <laughs> like this. When you are switching, your right hand will come over the left side of your face, and your left hand will go outside of the arm, and then you cross. Choo choo. Uh, we'll start with our left foot flat, right foot on the ball, and your right knee is bent, left knee is slightly bent, but not locked. And you're going to be in this position here for choo-choo. So choo-choo is just a hip bump, so you're going up, down, on the right side. Really, you shouldn't be going up and down at all, so make sure you're keeping your upper body still. For choo-choo, what you're going to do is you're going to step and lift. So as you step out, your hip is lifted, and then you're going to drag and drop simultaneously. It's easier to do faster than it is slower, so you're just going up, drag, drop. Choo-choo to the right. One, two, three, four. So when you're going in your circle, I'll go slow. One, two, three, four, switch. So now your right foot is flat, left is on the ball, and finish the turn by going backwards. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, four.
That's beautiful. Okay. So now you're all doing that at the student showcase on Saturday. What? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Belly dancing was a nice way to show off how the class structure works, with a few lessons taught by Dusty, followed by putting those lessons to the test. In fact, all the classes offered by the VRDA work like this, with a back and forth between instructor teaching and student practicing. Well, almost all of them at least. This one's a little bit different. Uh -oh. This one is called the imp uh, Improv Dance Cipher. So what we're doing is we're practicing dancing with specific concepts. So like if I have the concept of making my bed, you have to dance and make your bed at the same time. You know, like woo, throwing the sheets around. So every time you come to the center, of the circle, I will give you a concept. It's really chaotic. It's kind of, it's just fun, you know, to get used to dancing in front of other people. We're gonna have one person go into the center for the first concept of the day. Dance, but you cannot use your arms. I cannot use my arms. You can't okay. use your arms. <laughs> You are a ugly duckling turning into a beautiful swan. Dance as if your feet are super heavy. Who's the next victim? Why you gotta put it like that? Dance as if you are a piñata and people are actively trying to hit you while you're dancing. I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to make the rain come. Give me a break, give me a break. This is a good one. This one's easy. You must pretend you are in a western movie. Oh. Dance as if you can't see. Right. Dance as if you can't speak. Dance as if you can't hear. You three are, are next to a river and you are catching Wait, fish with your bare hands. Can I pull oh, you, the water? You can pull the spear. That's okay. Where are you? Where are you? Now that the improv cipher was complete, it was time for the class I was looking forward to the most. Lotties. After seeing those, uh, guys show up at the showcase, I knew I had to sign up for this one. Are you prepared to work out your yeah. meat off of your bones? <laughs> Every, anything that's left will be gone by tonight. You, wow, oh you're like a gosh. Barbie that's on crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Uh, a little, uh, a little guy. Oh, you just take it. No. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs>
time for your photo. Your sweaty photo. Ooh, On the okay. count of ten, I want you all to... How about you're all a tree and my canna is a sloth? Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven. Be part of the roots. <laughs> we need a sloth. Grab Who's the, a sloth? Uh, Nexia branch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dumpster couch. Like, oh, stains on me. oh god! This, yeah. this is this, this is what three is generations. What is all this? Three generations on this couch. On it. <laughs> I'm doing the impossible. I'm actually able to stand up right now. I love the tail. I That's love my style. I love yeah, it's super very cool. That's so funny as a tail. Oh, no gosh. matter what you do, you're gonna plug that in wrong. First world uh -huh. problem when you try to plug things into the wall in the dark and you're like, ah. I think the world uploaded. Should we try it? Oh. Yeah, go for it. Okay, portal. up to you. Am I gonna get a virus? Oh, this is nice. I think the couches that are curved would have to be on the edges, huh? Yeah, this one's a little bit yeah. large, but. Yeah, it's a little too curved. I do like but, it. Though. Yeah, I like this couch. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. if you take like out this center yeah. section. I like the straight ones, this one. Yeah, yeah, that's you a good idea. Have a What's the floating thing chocolate's on? Uh, that's like a platform you can summon. Oh, you can just see. jump on one of these chairs and then boom. Mm. Parkour! Uh, oh god! Good uh, rush! <laughs> you uh, raised it! Okay. There, I'm going to, um, that's where the control board's gonna be. So when you teleport up there, all these controls are gonna be up right. there, but you won't, they'll be hidden right. until you teleport up. And we all can right. put on a fucking rad show. Yeah. Hell yeah. The tour of the stage world was really cool. It was almost time for the student showcase to start. Now that I've been able to take some of the classes myself and meet a lot of the people from the community, I was really looking forward to it. There was still one more class to go before the showcase though, and it was the craziest one of them yet. This class is the one where everyone can be unique and find a style that matches their individual personalities. We did our warm-up stretches as usual, and then Dusty got into the first lesson. We're gonna do some drills today. We're just gonna freestyle dance for a minute to warm up. You know, practice different isolations, maybe a two-step. If you don't know what to do, you're just gonna move your body how you naturally feel like you want to move your body to the music. most of you because I was I was watching you don't forget about using your levels you are required to but always remember you can use your levels um, going up to down you don't have to stay here you can use your play space you can turn if you want to if you can you know if you have a wall you could always use the wall to like help you do cool things like push off of it or something I don't know nobody knows okay so the first drill that I wanted to talk about is called body connectivity. So you want to touch different parts of your body while you dance, for example, and like affect, affect how it moves. So like if I touch my head, then my head's gonna move. If I touch my hip, my hip's gonna move. Um, so just try for this little drill, just try to experiment with yourself. There's no right or wrong. So think of like point A to point B, what's gonna happen there? Okay, so now for this one, and please do it at your own risk and don't hurt yourself, exploring being off balance. So usually when we dance, we're always like going from right foot to left foot, right foot to left foot. Now intentionally try to do moves that are imbalanced. So it doesn't mean you have to sit down on one foot and like dance, but what I mean is focusing your weight one area and like maybe doing circles like this, maybe something with your leg in the air. Maybe most of your body's on the right side and then the left side is doing something. So you're like purposely being imbalanced. We are gonna do the cypher now, so we uh, 
uh, we'll take turns dancing. I'll give you like a minute and ten each, uh, and I'll count you down, or I'll just throw this emoji at you, and then um, on to the next person. It's finally time for the showcase to begin, but I do want to point out beforehand that since everyone used copyrighted music, we did have to choose different music while editing. My editor is a pretty big fan of dance choreography though, so I'd say it ended up turning out well. Hey! Hello, hello. Hey Dusty. Hey. Testing, can you hear me? Yeah. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> it is me. Welcome everybody, hello, welcome. Welcome to the VR Dance Academy Student Showcase. We've been working on some dance choreos for like the last three months. We've been working really hard. We have a big show today. We have some ballroom, Bollywood, a lot of freestyle dancers. Have any of you seen RRR? So we learned one of the dances from that and oh my gosh, was that a trip? So we're excited to show you at the very end. So make sure you stay till the end. But without further ado, should we get this show started? Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah! Woo! We have uh, Eight Spark and two Easy Dragon, and they're going to be doing a salsa. So give it up to Eight Spark and two Easy Dragon. Let's go! Let's go! Up next, we have a solo performance by Crimson. Give it up for Crimson! Yeah. Let's go, Crimson! <laughs> The Fia Showcase was cool when I saw it, but the classes helped me see just how great these performances are. 
getting a deeper look into how difficult even the beginner moves are, and then comparing it to the dance routines here, makes me really appreciate the hard work that goes into these things. I wish I could show them all, but the footage ended up being a bit ruined due to lag issues. Guess you'll just have to sign up for the VRDA and see the showcase for yourself next time. All right, let's see. Up next we have a dance by one of our other teachers who teaches water guy and um, K-pop. So Nick Nikun is gonna do a dance for us. Yay! Yeah. Next, we'll be doing a tribal belly dance performance for you. This is the type that is uh, not choreographed, rather improvised. Uh, the style that I teach is solely based on cues. So what um, your leader in the performance does is cueing what your followers should do. When we're up here, uh, the person who's in the front left is going to be the leader. Everyone else is the followers. So anytime we switch, the leader uh, changes. Yeah. All right, up next we have a solo dance performance by Skyman. Give it up for Skyman. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. 
We are now down to our final dance, our closing dance. RRR is a Bollywood film that came out. Super amazing. It is a long movie, but totally worth watching. We learned the choreography for the dance they do oh, in the okay. movie. And it has been the hardest choreo <laughs> yeah, we've ever done, that I've ever done bet. in my yeah. life. Finding non-copyrighted Bollywood music is pretty much impossible, but the performance of Natu Natu is great, I can promise you that. In fact, everything about the Academy from the performances to the classes to the friendships I've built have been awesome. I'll be sad to move on, but this just makes me more excited to see what's next. Thank you for coming to the beer. <laughs> 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 for a big bow. Nice big bow. Woo! Give it up for these amazing dancers. Yeah. Let's go. Yay. Thank you all so much. Yay. Yeah. Thank you to my wonderful students who worked so hard. Thank you. Thank you all and thank you for those of you who support the VR Dance Academy. If you want to come take dance lessons with us, check us out at vrdance.org. But if you want to come on up, we'll do a group photo. So audience, you can come up see. I was sitting here staring at this statue. I'm like, who the hell is that? I'm like, God damn it, it's Marshall. Yeah, it's a fitness Marshall. We have like an <laughs> avatar and we made it into a statue one day. It's it's very cursed. Oh my God. Wait, can I see it real quick? It's over here if you want to use it. It's actually horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can even take off the shirt and pants and it will just be in its boxers. It's it's really, what really cursed. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just get a good angle. Do you want me to look at you or the camera? I've given a few interviews in my day. I don't know what I look like. I'm just going to roll with it. It's just three simple questions. It's just three simple questions. Three simple open questions. Answer them however much or little you feel. So what got you interested in uh, VR dancing? That's easy. I was doing IRL dance before uh, COVID hit. Everything real life dancing shut down. So on a whim, I bought a quest. I guess when we hopped into uh, VR chat a little over a year ago, we didn't know what we would do nor what to expect. So I think we just randomly stumbled into a Pi Pi Dance world once. Like three years ago, I stumbled upon a world called Pi Pi Dance as I was kind of isolated due to COVID, I was looking for ways to work out within VR chat. And very quickly, I got like completely hooked on dancing in VR. And yeah, that just got everything going because eventually I was like, I want to make my own dancing world. Then we started building this huge community around it and it's kind of crazy. It just all happened <laughs> over the course of two years. I, uh, I found Dusty through Fia's video and then I ended up seeing we met in VR during Sundance, and I was like, oh, I've got to I've get involved in that. From that point on, I was hooked. Uh, Dusty offers amazing classes, and you know. I've been a dancer all my life outside of VR, and when I joined VR in 2018, I, I realized that people did full body dancing, like at dance clubs and, and stuff like that, so I ended up uh, getting full body tracking so I could dance too. And then I just started my dance journey from there. In what ways has your exposure to dancing in VR been beneficial? You know, it's a, it's a healthy thing to do, you know, for us in general. Um, keeps us up and moving, and we've met a lot of great people, and 
So overall, it's just improved almost every aspect of our life. For me, it's been a huge confidence boost. I used to always be quite clumsy IRL. Dancing has always been a part of my life. I've followed like a lot of classes before going into VR chat, but I never really enjoyed it too much. But within VR chat, just it was a bit more comfortable because it was with friends. There's less shame because you're just being goofy with your avatar basically. So you're, you feel more free to try things. Getting like better at dancing within VR chat has just been huge for my confidence IRL because I'm just more comfortable in my body. I lost, uh, I lost most of my COVID weight. I'm probably in the best shape I've ever been in in my life. This has really helped with my fitness, especially the Pilates. And then also just the community is so friendly and so many awesome people. I'm feeling a little nostalgic being here, actually, now that you mention it. <laughs> like, this is where Spark and I first met, and, you know, it was over a year ago, we've become, like, really good friends. During COVID, I decided to start the VR Dance Academy so that I could teach friends and other users from around the world, actually, to come and learn how to dance. When I found that it was growing quite a bit and there was a need for a dance class, bringing them here really sped up the process for me to pursue this as a career. So it's really changed my life. Um, I'm able to spread the love of dance with people from around the world. And yeah, it's just amazing to see that this community has that effect on like so many people. Like a lot of people get fit here, which is just very rewarding. And a lot of people gain confidence here too. I feel like I've got a family now. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, the VRDA is full of some of the most like insanely incredible people on the planet. Is there anything uh, you'd like to share uh, to the audience? I would just say that VRChat is a great platform to work out and to just try things. The barrier to entry is very, very low. Like, if all you have is a quest, um, we will most definitely take you as a student. Just don't be shy to give it a try. You know, it took me like months from knowing this existed to finally coming in here. And I was like incredibly nervous. You just kind of like got to get over that, get over that shyness. I think it's really important that um, people, you know, learn to dance because not only is it a great way to express yourself, but it's a great form of exercise and you get to meet people. So I'm, I'm like totally pro dancing whether that's in real life or VR. If you want to learn to dance, just do it. You know, even if you're not confident in dancing or uh, it's not up your alley, you know, it might be something that really interests you if, if you're in VR and, you know, you might as well give it a shot, I guess. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, doing all this. No, I, I appreciate everything from you too. All right, and uh, that'll conclude all those for now, I guess. <laughs> for now? Okay, yeah, yeah, if you come up with more, yeah. just let me know. Oh, it's. I just meant more well, of like if coming. I end up coming back yeah. to like revisit the idea, that would be great to like, you know, get a follow up, be like, hey, what's changed or whatever. Good luck on your little film project. I hope that Thank your you. YouTube pops off soon. <laughs> I do have to go. Okay. I've got to go tell everyone good job because I feel so bad I couldn't be there at the end. So I got to go do that. But I'll see you All right. later. <laughs> All right. See you, Dustin. Bye for now. Hug bye. Hug right. bye. Have a good day. Right. You too. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye. And that seems to be everything. These last few months from getting my full body tracking set up, attending new events, and experiencing things in VR that seemed so absurd but ended up being so amazing, it's really widened my eyes to how I see VR chat now. Am I good at dancing now? No, of course not. Rome wasn't built in a day. But I'm a lot better than before, and I've gained a lot of confidence in myself. It really is something special, and I have everyone that I've met to thank for that. Either way, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the stuff that people tell you to do, and I'll see you next time. Oh, one more thing. Like the new Abby? Um, in what ways has your exposure to dancing in VR been beneficial? So, it's been really good for your, your arm is flying off the outer space. That's, that's great. <laughs> That shit. Woo. Yeah, I'm not pointing out. <laughs> it, no, no, that's for, for that's video. for the yeah. That'll look great in the video. <laughs> all right, okay, I'm, just, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna we can do right. this. We yes, can do we this. got this. In okay. what way has dancing in VR been better? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs>